Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is an unboxing. Uh, you haven't seen this hat yet, but uh, this is a Panama hat, uh, the, um, uh, what you call it, the Havana model from, what's the name of the company, uh, Ultra Fino. Um, right there. We got a, uh, right here. Yeah, Ultra Fino. Um, these are uh, Panama hats. And for those of you who don't know, Panama hats are made in Ecuador. They just got famous in Panama because they were exported heavily there and almost everybody in Panama wore one and then Teddy Roosevelt wore one. I bought this hat because I wanted to experience the Panama hat and this was one I could afford and I was like, you know what, I like fedoras. This isn't quite a fedora, but I wanted a hat to wear at the beach and this kind of seemed to fit the bill and I just got back from the beach and I'm pretty mad at myself. I forgot to bring the hat, but what happened when I bought that hat? They said, hey, sign up for our newsletter, and you, you'll be put in a drawing to win a hat. Well, I won. I never win anything. I have never won anything before in my life. I thought I won $100 on a scratch-off. I was mistaken. Um, what I'm going to be using to open up this uh, box is my best Natalie Orban Raptor. Um, is a cool uh, custom knife maker from France. He immigrated to the United States, and so now his uh, knives are American-made. Um, and I'm a little embarrassed to say this because of my own ignorance. I'm, uh, I'm admitting my own ignorance, ignorance, but this man changed my whole view on Fran France cultural. You know, um, I had uh, a, a uh, incorrect view of France, and this guy uh, showed me that France is pretty awesome. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But this is like my first custom knife I ever bought. Uh, cost me around $600 and I think he was one of his early pieces I don't think he was um, I think he was relatively new to knife making at the time and um, he has gotten a lot better um, you know much more complex stuff uh, you've seen his knife on the movie Lucy and that's how I like to carry this knife in the belt buckled area on the static line um, but I digress. Let's get back to the hat. Now, like I said, I'm more of a fedora guy. This is a cowboy hat. I can't remember the model name. That's the Havana. Um, um, I used to wear a lot of uh, Western wear, and I it fits. Um, but I stopped wearing Western wear, um, and um, because I just honestly thought that it was a misrepresentation of what I am. I'm not a cowboy. I'm not. I used to be big into single uh, action shooting, or I used to enjoy single action cowboy action shooting. And this doesn't flip uh, like the other one. But um, I chose the cowboy hat or this particular model because in Texas, there's some occasions where you're kind of expected to wear a cowboy hat. You know, theme parties, uh, some Mexican parties I went to. Everybody's wearing a cowboy hat, cowboy boots. Um, if you live in Texas, it's just a good idea to have a hat and boots. You know, actually, it's, it doesn't look too cowboyish. No, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit sloped. They described it as a cowboy hat, but um, is it still filming? Yeah. Okay. Um, but um, I think you could wear it at work. I probably could wear it at work. That would be a good abusive test to it. But, um, you might as well. I yeah. mean, because it really doesn't look all that cowboyish, you know? Yeah. And um, just to let you know, uh, this was a $148 hat. I won it for free. I can't remember how much that one cost. I want to say it's like $160. Uh, I paid full price for that. And um, I got it for the beach. And um, I got it for the beach, and I got it to experience the Panama hat um, uh, experience. But yeah. Um, this is my free hat that I won. This is my beach hat that I paid for. And I thought I'd unbox it uh, for you. Man, I like fedoras. 100% hand-woven Panama hat. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.